Now, a platform to bring together nearly 500 of the world's biggest infrastructure players and experts to talk about sustainability. The most recent edition of the Asia Infrastructure Forum launched a new online portal to share ideas and discuss ways to make financing easier for sustainable infrastructure in Asia. And for more, we're joined by Indrani Raja. She is a minister in the Prime Minister's office and second minister for finance and national development. Thanks for joining us. Oh, Ms. Indrani, you unveiled the Infrastructure Asia Project portal at the forum yesterday. Uh, why is it important to have an online portal to share upcoming infrastructure opportunities in Asia? Well, one of the main obstacles to having projects take off is lack of uh, pipeline visibility of projects. So the whole idea behind this portal is to be able to uh, allow people who have projects to put it on the portal, make it known, and to be able to connect with other people who are interested in collaborating in the project. So basically, it's going to improve visibility of project pipeline. It'll connect these projects with the best fit solutions and investors. will engage with the project owners, um, help them to identify specific needs, and connect them with over 600 pre-curated solution providers. Well, you mentioned uh, brownfield infrastructure as an area of opportunity, and that is um, using existing facilities to begin new production. But of course, not all will have the resources to make the switch. So what then can be done to support them? Well, with brownfield infrastructure, what you want to do is to help um, the owners uh, or, or the stakeholders in such infrastructure to be able to retrofit it and make it green and sustainable. So, uh, you know, brownfield infrastructure is responsible for something like almost 80% of greenhouse gas emissions. And if we can tackle that, you've tackled a large part of the problem. Um, what we, we want to do is to encourage uh, small businesses and other businesses uh, to find good solutions so connect them with the solutions and also connect them with the, the funding that would enable them to, to retrofit and to, you know, make Brownfield more sustainable. And so then how can, uh, you know, the government and private stakeholders work together to scale sustainable infrastructure and channel green financing to where it is needed? Essentially, what you need is collaboration. You, you need to connect the, the supply and the demand. Um, and that's what Infrastructure Asia seeks to do. Um, and we play the role of sort of an intermediary and, and, and a broker, uh, help to identify the needs, then help to identify those who would be the relevant stakeholders in, the, in, in this field uh, and connect them. So it's really about sharing of ideas, sharing of best practices, and then putting that information out there and letting all the interested people come together. And of course, all of this will be driven by funding. Uh, so it's quite important to make sure that, you know, that there's funding available and to connect them with the financiers. Well, Ms. Andrani, I do want to ask you, uh, what are Singapore's strengths mm -hmm. in sustainable development uh, for the region especially? And where can we see ourselves playing a bigger role? You should think of Singapore as a, a little laboratory for infrastructure. Um, because we are a small country, we don't have many resources, which means that we're, we, we have to keep trying to make sure that we, we innovate and we, we try out new things. So two areas in which we have some experience that we're happy to share would be um, expertise in building integrated infrastructure solutions in, sections, in, in sectors such as water and waste treatment, and then another area uh, of expertise is in solar energy. Singapore is already one of the most solar dense cities in the world with installed solar capacity growing by more than six times over the past five years. Um, as you know, we've, we've experimented with a, a lot of this. So these, are, these two areas are uh, areas in which we are, are happy to share expertise and can and make, it, make a contribution. All right, many thanks for speaking with us. That was Indrani Raja, Minister in the Prime Minister's Office and Second Minister for Finance and National Development.